questions about YouTube, like how to find a video you really enjoyed a few weeks ago, or what does subscribing mean? Does it cost money? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you a few tips about using YouTube because it's such a fantastic resource for most anything in life you want to learn about. So let's go. Hi, I'm Molly Bartelt, co-founder of Pixology, and I help people learn how to use their computers better so that they can manage their pictures and preserve family memories for today, 10 years from now, and generations to come. So today I'm talking about YouTube, which seems like an odd subject for a photo organizer. Well, we have been uploading videos on how to organize printed pictures and some other YouTube tutorials. And we had the question, well, if I subscribe to your channel, will, will it cost me money? So we thought it might be useful to have a YouTube for beginners class. So that's why we're here. The first thing to know about YouTube is it is a form of social media. However, it's one of the few, it might be the only one, that does not require you to have an account to view the content. So you can go to youtube.com right now and search a topic and you don't have to log in to view the videos. So that's, that's kind of interesting. However, having an account will give you a few benefits that might make it worthwhile to do. So we're going to talk about creating an account. and. Just a heads up, some of you may already be close to that. YouTube is owned by Google. And if you have a Gmail account, which is also Google, you can use your Gmail account to log in to YouTube. With everything related to Google, keep in mind that your search history and the things that you like are tracked. That's how you will get recommendations on what videos to watch. It's even how ads will populate in the YouTube videos you view. So keep in mind, when you use a Google product like Gmail or YouTube, your privacy is not as secure as if you didn't log in at all, okay? But many people accept that because there's so many good things about being able to find videos again and create your own playlists that that's okay. So how about we get started? So here we are at youtube.com. You can see the website up at the top and there is recommended videos. And then you can see two places to sign in, sign in to like videos, comment and subscribe. There's also a sign in up here. So I'm going to click it and here we have um, choose an account and I have a, a testing account to demonstrate with you. If you don't see an account to sign into like your Gmail account, if you don't have one, you can click on use another account or you might have been automatically brought to this sign in screen to continue to YouTube. If you don't have an account, you can click Create Account for myself. You can sign in using your own email address. You'll have to confirm it, or you can create a new Gmail address instead. So whichever way you go, you'll want to continue. So I'm just going to go back to the Choose an Account screen here and click Pix Testing. And we're going to log in. So I spent some time just doing a few searches so that you could see what an account might look like. And we're going to look first here right at the center, recommended videos. Whenever you log into YouTube, they're going to give you recommendations based on your past searches. Now, I can see some things in here that I recognize. I'm not sure why NBC News is showing up. And if I don't want to see that again, I can click on those three dots and just put not interested or don't recommend channel. I'll just put not interested and I don't care to tell them why. I'm going to hit the refresh screen. So I'm just going to 
refresh the screen and see what else comes up. So uh, I have new recommendations and every time you log in, it will be different. So let's look down the left-hand panel here. This is really where you'll be able to find the things that you've liked and the subscriptions. So first of all, um, when I look down the left-hand panel, I wanna go right away to the library, okay? And in the library, it kind of displays all the other, the history, watch later, and liked videos. So it's kind of everything in one screen. So you see the history. So automatically there, you can see all of the videos that you've been to, all right? You can even click see all to go further back. For some videos, you might wanna watch them later. I have two that I just selected to watch later. I don't have playlists. We'll save that for another time because that's more of an advanced thing to do. And then I have videos that I've liked. So every time you click thumbs up, it will save your video in this liked videos category. Okay, so we have library, we have the history, just now clicking on those individual menu items on the left panel. History further explained, watch later, and liked videos. These three are all part of your library. So when we click on history, we get an expanded view of the videos as well as on the right hand side, we can look at our watch history, our search history, comments, and all sorts of things that you might have done. I'll just click on search history and you can see the words that I've typed in to find videos that I was interested in. So history can be really helpful to go find those videos that you saw before and want to go back to. Okay, so we've talked about the library. Now underneath, you can see here subscriptions. And these are the channels that I have subscribed to. So let's talk about some definitions. With YouTube, there are viewers and there are creators, okay? I'm a viewer and a creator, so you can be both, all right? And when you are a YouTube creator, you create a channel, all right? So channels have individual videos uploaded to them. So let's just explore this a little further. We're gonna go to this, let's just go to the home screen like to come back to the center and I'm going to search for coffee recipes. All right. And of course we're going to see Starbucks. They have an ad there, but underneath there, I see four easy homemade coffees for lockdown, iced coffee recipes. These are individual videos. Each one of them have been made by a YouTube creator with a channel. All right, so here we're looking at coffee recipes and then right underneath them we can see the channel name. So let's go to five new iced coffee recipes. Now, we do see that we're gonna have an ad. <laughs> I just put it on mute so that we don't have to listen to it. You most likely will get an ad when you're looking at videos. So you wait for it or you can click skip ads and then your video will start. So here we have this woman, she's explaining her iced coffee recipes and we see the video has almost 600,000 views and the channel is the Domestic Geek, okay? I really think this would be an interesting one to like later or to watch later. I can click like and I could go to save and select watch later. So let's go back to my library view. And you can see there in my history is the iced coffee recipes. I've added it to watch later and it's in my liked videos. So I am covered on finding that one again. Let's go back to that video. And of course an ad comes up again and we're going to skip it.
Now, I'd like to know a little bit more about the channel that this video lives on, okay? So we had the video, and here's the Domestic Geek. We have, we're at her home page, and we've got where we can look at videos, playlists, community channels. I like to go to the about, just to learn a little bit about the person, you know, who's created this channel. So her description is eat well, live better, and she's putting out new videos every Monday and Thursday, and Sarah Lynn is the, the host. She's been around a long time, in YouTube terms and had over 150 million views that's impressive so I think I would like to see more videos that she puts out so I'm gonna click subscribe subscribing to a channel is completely free and now if we look on the left hand panel there is the Domestic Geek is now in my subscription, so I can easily go to see her videos from my home view. If I want to be alerted like the notification that she has uploaded a new video, I would click the bell that is right next to the subscribe, and I'll just click all. That way I'll get a notification when she uploads a new video, as well as any other channel that I subscribe and click the bell. Up in the top right of the screen you can see the bell up there with notifications. I don't have any right now but when I get them they'll appear there and for those of you who choose you can put the YouTube app on your phone, sign in, and you would get notifications on your phone as well. Okay, I'd like to just head over a little bit of self-promotion to Pixology's YouTube channel. Here we are at the top, uh, Pixology. And <laughs> our YouTube channel offers tips and tricks and tutorials for saving pictures and creating a photo estate. This is where we send people to learn more about the uh, ways that you can organize pictures and save memories. If you would like to learn more about that, you can click the subscribe button there as well and be sure to hit the bell if you want notifications. And right now, during this time of my taping this, it is the COVID-19 shutdown. Hopefully we'll be way beyond that by the time you're watching this and everybody came through safely. So we have different playlists, computer, PC tips, Mac tips, and then create your photo estate series. And remember, subscribing is free. You will come across a YouTube premium offer occasionally. And I'm just going down the left-hand screen, the left-hand panel to YouTube premium. You can subscribe to YouTube Premium so that you don't have ads. You can watch videos offline and in the background. I really don't know anybody that has done this purposefully, so I wouldn't even recommend doing the free trial unless you intended to continue on with it. So that subscription does cost $11.99 a month for YouTube Premium. So those are the basics of using YouTube. We talked about logging in, how to like a video, how to watch a video later, how to use that left-hand panel of your account to find the videos that you watched before. And we talked about subscribing to a channel. I hope this was helpful. If you have questions that we didn't answer, leave them in the comments below and we'll try to get to those for you. In the meantime, we're here for you. If you've got questions on photo organization and saving your family memories, check out the resources at the end of this video and uh, take care. Thanks for joining.